Hey, good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your day. It's after seven here right now. I've been up since five my time and catching up with some news, Jamaican news, and a bit of Mexican news. Now, today is a busy day. Well, not a busy day, but today I have concrete plans. I need to get things sorted out in the house. I will be leaving the city for a quick minute with my baby girl. I'm taking her with me out of the city and the, it's rainy. I don't know if where I'm going it's gonna be rainy, but I know for sure. in a hurry luckily I had everything organized and we are at the terminal um, we are at the terminal waiting for the guy who is coming in town and yeah hoping everything is okay baby girl is here with us she's sleeping We are back in Las Vegas after 10 months. With baby Ayo, the carpenter, and the driver. I'm excited and nervous. The, the goats and the cows have not been here for a while. Listen, Bush. Oi. Yes. Yeah, the trees I like, but the, the animals were cutting the grass or the bush by eating. Hey, 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 yesterday ended with me going to see my land and going with the carpenter to figure out a way or different options in terms of material. Uh, for this particular land I purchased in 20, January of 2020 and with purchasing this land I had the idea of Starting a restaurant from the table type and also bringing together all the black women in the city that I am familiar with that cook and have events there. That's how the idea started. And prior to that, I had issues with finding space in the city, which led me to buy 
a, a piece a lot that would encourage or have the idea of farm to table and events and a place for living in 2020 a lot happened in terms of we had the lockdown covid and the price of being went up and i've pivoted many times with my plans i've met with different architects got and i got a bit frustrated because the things i would hear is that this is not possible this is expensive that i yeah. and so i went back on instagram and i was reconnecting with some friends some meaningful friends that um i met when i was when i had my business when i was just starting my business i met and a lady who's into sustainability and I reconnected with her and I said hey do you know uh, someone who is into this type of project and she said yes and she directed me with the person and so I met him he was a carpenter and the techniques of building that he knows is incredible and so I feel like I'm back at the drawing board again. I don't know what I'm going to do with the land. I don't know what I, where, in what direction it's going to go. But I've learned that I'm going to be very patient with the process. That. Anyways, going through reviewing the land and the different options or different structures that I can build on our way back, we were stopped by police. So... Yesterday the video ended abruptly. I just had to share that on our way back we were stopped by the police and with that they search our cars. They search the car. They search our bags. They check the vehicle to see if everything was up to date. They check our IDs and everybody that was in the car they asked questions. They questioned them about me. The only thing they ever asked me was uh, where I'm from and uh, that was pretty 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 interesting I don't know how to feel about it because this is not the first many times this has happened before so I don't know if I should get used to it but one thing that was reiterated is that it's not legal the search was illegal but the carpenter asked why they were searching and they said they were looking for weapons that's what i got from that now yesterday coming back i was exhausted and tired i had a pile of things or clothing that i need to iron and textile fabric that i need to iron and i'm going to try and get that done today yeah, I got a new iron because the iron that I've had for over 10 years, it's, I don't think it's working well. So I got a new iron and I bought some hangers and I'm going to op open that, check the product and get started with my day. My day was already started, you know, I own my morning, I get up early, take care of myself and this is something that I always do. Before having the baby, I would go walking maybe five ten miles or i go to the gym with the husband but now that has changed so i'm just staying in sitting still i'm reading a book and yeah having breakfast i haven't had breakfast but i drank water <laughs> and now i'm gonna get my day started with iron but first i need to open these packages that arrived yesterday and see. and then after ironing I should help a friend pack. She's moving. And I need to go to a store to try and get the item I purchased exchanged for a different size. And I think if they don't have it in any of the other stores, I don't want to go to Palak and I don't want to go to Santa Fe. So I ask them to call and see if those stores have what I want. And if not, um, I'm going to just change it for something different. But the store called me and I did not hear the ring so I think the best thing for me to do is to go in today and see how that goes but the first thing I'm gonna do is open the packages that I um, got yesterday and iron as much as I can and get the rest of my day started normally I like to do three major activities in a day 
but I'm gonna see how many things I can do today. But first, I need to open the package, iron, get the change of products, and maybe reach out to a friend and ask if I can come back today. But let's see how this goes. So this is the old iron I've had for over 10 years. It has done its job. It's not heating like it used to. And this is the new iron I got. Has clear indications in terms of what material.
Okay, so I'm gonna start right here. Uh, so I finished ironing almost all the clothes that I need to iron. Everything that I need to iron, I have three pieces of food item and three fabric remaining. And I needed to get out of the house by 12. It's now 12 or 8. So I am just going to get ready, get to the store, and hopefully come back and finish and organize things. So that's what I'm going to do right now. responding and uh, she hasn't messaged me so instead I might go to another friend's flat and do one of the things I love the most it's my love language I'm on my way to a store to exchange or hopefully get the size that I need. So let's see how that goes. that I came to they have no light and they're closed so I am concerned so most of the stores are closed and the reason for that is because there is no light so I'm stumped but I'm gonna Soriana has light everybody else don't have light is it because they didn't pay their bills but yeah that was a surprise, surprise, surprise. Sorina has light, but the other part, other stores don't have light. Some people are functioning still without the light. So I am going to go to the market and get out to my friend's flat. So it's the quickest I've ever been in. Parker Delta, so I am heading back to Mercado Benticotta to get some items and then I'll walk from there back home. It's the second time I take a taxi and I tell them where I want to go and they take a route and they are taking a longer route. Now this driver, I told him what route I want to take. <sighs> Now I tell him where to drive and he drove on it 
and then he's telling me sorry like really this school bro but can you imagine I mean what you, they say what you don't know will hurt you I'm just wondering what happened when my Spanish was very limited because the route he was gonna take was a longer route and yes it was gonna cost more I don't mind paying but if you're gonna go out of your way to get more honey huh. wow but all is well I am going to the market Hola, hola. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, ¿y usted? Yo también. Bien, bien. Amor. ¿Verdad? Él no sabe. Sí. Ex... Él no sabe. <risa> Significa amor. <risa> Provecho. Sí. <risa> uno y uno. Cinco. Estos. Esto no. Este no. Este no. ¿Qué más? No. Sí, sí, sí. Y Canaries bonitas. Should I get for the house these birds as pets? I have something new to think about. Should I get the bird as a pet? Canary as a pet? Something to think about. Hola! Frida, mi querida. Hola. I am at this restaurant with a husband having lunch. Se llama Jesse. So we came to this restaurant and when we arrived, it was empty. Usually it's packed. And after we got here, it got crowded. So the other one made it clear that the reason for that is because now is the hour for lunch after two. So I am having a typical Mexican lunch, which is higado and pasta with frijol. And so this is a typical Mexican lunch for lunch I just I just done finished having lunch with a husband and my was better than his but what was interesting is that the salt I thought I had our cut eh? <laughs> your milkshake is better <laughs> yes by uh, police okay. uh -huh. um, the I just learned that the green thing on my plate, I thought it was aguacate, but it was spicy aguacate. And the reason being it was like that, which is not normally the case, is because the aguacate is expensive. So I need to go to the market and check out the price because I haven't bought avocado in a while. Actually, not me. I haven't been going to the market in a while, so I don't like, know. Uh, like an avocado, like between 20 and 35 pesos. And that wasn't the case before. And so I lost track of the price of food in the market because I haven't been going to the market really to buy much. So yeah, I'm curious to see how expensive it is. But 20 pesos. Okie dokie. <laughs>
preparing brown stew chicken. What should have been brown stew chicken turned out to be fricassee chicken. It's tasty. Served with rice, uh, plain rice. And I hope my friends enjoy it. If they don't, you know, you won't see me in this kitchen, this beautiful kitchen again. <laughs> so I'm back home and I am gonna finish what I started this morning, which was the iron. I think I'm just gonna iron the fabric and the remainder of the clothes I have. I call it a night. These were the fabric I got last week and I'm finished. So these are the fabrics that I got last week and I am going, well I finished ironing them, I need to cut them out so I'm going to separate them from the clothes. Item that I have to iron and finish those and that will be it for the night. So I am finished ironing these two blouse have one button missing so I'm gonna put this on at a later date and it's not gonna be matching buttons but I'll do that at a later date so I'm finishing ironing almost everything that I need and that's it I'm gonna call it a night I'm gonna end here my day was wonderful my day has been amazing I got to do everything even though I had to pivot throughout the day it was amazing I want to end here by saying thank you for watching and see you in the next video